Hi and welcome back, it's Vicky here and today we celebrate with a blog hop the new release by Simon Says Stamp. One of my favorite products from this release is the leafy frame and I actually have uh, this uh, design on a stencil from the previous release and I will link to a video where I used that stencil to create three different cards at the end of this video. And since we get the die version of this design, I thought it would be fun to make another video, but this time I'm going to share three cards using the die. So now I'm working on my first card and I need a background for this cutout. I am using two Distress Oxide inks from the latest collection and you can see the colors I'm using on your screen. I am going with the orange color all around the edges of my panel just because I want this to be quite darker since this is where all the leaves are going to fall and I need to have enough contrast and a darker color there. Now at the center I'm going with a lighter color which is mustard seed and now I'm going to blend uh, together both those colors and they do blend beautifully together. By the way I'm working on Bristol paper which I find makes uh, wonders with Distress Oxide inks. I'm adding some uh, water splashes and uh, I'm going to leave them there to react with the oxide ink underneath and then I'm going to blot everything with my towel. Now before I put my card together I'm going to stamp the sentiment at the center and I will be using the school bus messages stamp set for that. I am going for the have a great summer so I'm going to combine a couple of those stamps. This stamp set is also from the latest release. It comes with a bunch of uh, sentiments as well as a fun school bus. So anyway, I used my stamping platform to stamp my sentiment with black ink. And now I can put my card together super simply. I'm going to add some glue at the back and on some of the leaves that go towards the center, I have added tiny little foam, do foam dots just because these are going to add some dimension on these leaves. But at the same time, although they are going to stick out, they will be nicely secured on the card. Now remember that this uh, video is actually part of a blog hop where we celebrate the latest release by Simon Says Stamp. Make sure to visit my blog, you will find there all the links that you need to follow since you will find tons of inspiration and lots of giveaways and I also have a coupon code on my blog that if you use it you will get a free gift if you shop from Simon. I'm going to finish off my card by adding a few drops. I'm using my Nouveau drops in two colors that match the colors of the inks that I have at the back. I placed the panel on a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half and my card is ready. Now let's go ahead and create a second card. This time I will be using Distress Oxide inks again from the latest collection. The design is going to be the same as the first card but I'm going to get a totally different look. So I, I applied my green color and now I'm going with brown shades, tea dye and ground espresso. And as always, you will find full links to all the products that I used down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Now, since this is a totally brand new collection by Simon Says Stamp, there is a big chance that some of these dies and stamps are going to sell out super quickly since they are just awesome. Make sure to hit the notification button on their website if you want to be first to get notified when they are back in stock. Now I'm working directly on my card base which I have created from a craft uh, colored cardstock. I believe this is uh, Nina Desert Storm cardstock. This is a standard top folding card four and a quarter by five and a half. I am adding a little bit of uh, Distress Oxide Ground Espresso on the edges and since I want to have a very smooth transition from the edges towards the center I'm going to use my brush which is going to apply color but it's very subtle, very light and gives the exact look that I'm going for. I used Nouveau Deluxe at the back and I'm going to completely stick it down and back to my stamping platform to stamp my sentiment. I decided for my sentiment to go with a Simon's stamp uh, um, set that has been released in a previous release, which is called Wreath Greetings, and I didn't have a chance to use it. So I went with uh, the thank you and the tiny little sentiment that says for all you do. I stamped everything with my ground espresso to match the colors of my card. And finally, some finishing touches. I'm adding some uh, crystals by Studio Katia. 
and you will find these linked down below. I tried to match the color of my leaves. And now let's move on to the last card for today and I will be using the fun technique where we smoosh oxide ink on top of our mat and then I'm going to apply some water until I see those beads forming on my craft mat. You can see the Distress Oxide ink colors that I used on your screen and from those three the tumbled glass is actually a brand new color. Now I am going to give it a quick uh, dry with my heat gun and then I will repeat the same process again and again until I am happy with the outcome. This time I die cut the leafy background out of black cardstock for a more dramatic look since I get this beautiful contrast. Now these uh, stitching butterflies are actually from a previous release by Simon Says Tab and again I didn't have a chance to use them so I think they will be the perfect focal point for this card. Now I have created my own pattern paper as you can see uh, from Distress Oxide inks and um, now it's time to stamp my sentiment. This comes from one of uh, the latest released stamp sets. It's called Sketch Lotus Flowers and I know you will have lots of fun using it. It has beautiful sentiments as well as a lovely image to color with your favorite coloring mediums and there are actually matching dyes available. So now I'm going to stamp my sentiment from this uh, stamp set that says um, be strong, be beautiful, be fearless and then I'm going to stick my butterflies on top. And again, my favorite crystals as finishing touches. This time uh, they are also by Studio Katia in a lovely blue color that, ma that match the color of my background. And here is a close-up photo on the last card that I made using products from the latest release by Simon Says Stamp. And here are all the cards together. Don't forget that you will find the full list of all the products that I used down below in the description area as well as on my blog. And also don't forget to visit my blog since this is part of a blog group. Thank you all so much for joining me today and have a lovely day!